Hello friends, in this tutorial we will learn the concept of context sharing in Specflow. In the agenda we will cover what exactly is context sharing and different ways through which you can share context in Specflow that is using dependency injection and using scenario context. Let's look at the example. So we'll continue with the same example from the last video where we created a basic selenium test with specflow which essentially performs a search on the youtube website so in this if you open the feature file and the binding file you see that we are using two different we are using two we are using two properties that need to be shared across the steps one is the chrome driver instance itself which we have currently used as a class variable and another is the search keyword which user will enter or which is defined in the scenario and which drives the test and is also required in uh, also required across the steps so for looking at the diff two different approaches of context sharing for Chrome driver, we will use the dependency injection mechanism and for the search keyword, we will use the scenario context approach. So by dependency injection, we mean that we actually need to inject the object of the context that we want to share in each and every binding class where we intend to use. And Specflow provides an out of the box dependency injection framework. It uses a framework called BODI and it's available out of the box free of the cost. You don't need to do or include any other library to do that. So let's get started. Let's add a new folder named as context to our project. And let's add a new class named webdriver context. So all the context classes are plain POCO classes. You need to make them public. And since this context will just contain our web driver, I'll just declare a Chrome driver kind of object. And I'll declare a constructor to initialize this object. There you go. So this is a POCO object for web driver. It just contains one property called the driver. Now to use it in our step binding, open the steps file again. We need to inject it in the constructor. Before we do that, let's contain, let's create an object for the context. and let's include it in the constructor. Okay, here you see that I have just added a new object, the newly created context object as a constructor parameter. And this is the only step you require for injection. Now, wherever you want to use or invoke the driver, 
you just need to use the web driver context object of your class and get the driver out of this context so let's replace all the instances of the chrome driver with web driver context or driver it should be as simple as replacing for web driver context dot driver let's replace it in this file to replace all Leave and I'll remove the original declaration of the chrome driver yes so now we are using the driver instance from the context rather than the class variable if I go ahead and run this test with this setup this test should still pass great it passes now the advantages of this is you can create as many context objects as you want and even across the binding files the context can be shared so now you can be sure that even across the bindings and across the steps you will be sharing just one instance of the driver now let's see how to use the scenario context mechanism scenario context is consider it as a key value pair or it's it's a dictionary with key value pair with key a string and value can be any object and you that is available across the lifetime of a scenario so we'll see an example by using scenario context for the search keyword so where i am taking the search keyword so yes this is the where i have entered something as search keyword let me update scenario context here and it's as simple as defining a key so I'm saying search key equal to search string dot to lower and we can get rid of uh, the search keyword so I'll say search string dot tool over I can get rid of this and I can use this yeah now so this is the setting part where I am setting the search string to the search key in the scenario context dictionary. Now how do I retrieve it? So wherever I want to verify, so suppose this is the verify page where I should be navigate to search results page and here we are using the search keyword parameter. So here if I say where expected search key and now to get the value from the dictionary we need to cast it to the respective value type with the same key that you have set that you have used to set and I'll simply use this value from the dictionary now let me try running this yes and the test still passes so what we have essentially done here is we are no longer using this class variable and we are just relying on two different ways to share context in the step bindings one is this one which is through the dependency injection framework where you need to instantiate each context object as the constructor injection parameter and second approach is 
through the scenario context dictionary where you set the required attributes as keys and their values as the respective values the values can be anything in this case it's a string if you have an object as a context you can store that as well but you just need to keep in mind that when you retrieve the value back you need to cast it back to the same object so that's about this tutorial thank you